Hi, this is my magnetic starter for the Graviturx marble track. Today I'm going to show you how it works and how to put it together. But first, let's check out what it does. You can launch a marble by turning the knob or use it as a classic Gauss cannon with easy reload. Let's begin with a cutout model from the base. It's the classic Gauss cannon featuring a marble and a magnet that must be in contact to transfer the impulse from the incoming ball. To make the starter work, we need this additional component. When you rotate it, the two balls get separated by moving one of them forward. Once this ball reaches the front, the entrance opens and the rear ball kicks in. Unfortunately, if the starter fails, or the marble rolls back into the chamber, you won't be able to get the starter to work again. Since it is closed and the magnets attract the balls, it's not as easy to get them out anymore. In order to address this issue, I had to redesign the base. The updated model on the left side now features an additional connection which serves as an exit port for the marbles. This new starter operates like the previous one, but with one notable improvement. In case of a failure, you can now easily remove the marbles by simply turning the knob further. Let's take another look at this with the final version of the starter. We generate the error and then remove the marble again. When the marble is taken out, the starter goes into a loaded state. So when you put the marble back on track, it kicks the forward one out. Let's now put it all together. First you'll need the 3D printed parts, along with a magnet and an extra marble. To make the rotating mechanism and locking feature work, you'll also need two coil springs and two balls with a diameter of six millimeter each. Let's start with the base plate and insert the magnet. Then we'll let the marble fall into the hole on the other side. It's crucial that the marble and the magnet are in contact to transfer the impulse. To verify this, you can push in the marble and the magnet should move, or you can simply wiggle the component around. Additionally, we'll perform a quick functional test. Let's continue with the assembly process. We'll take the knob and insert a coil spring into one of the holes, then we'll place a 6mm ball on top and press it in. We'll repeat this process on the other side as well. Now, we can slide the knob into the base component. When you turn the knob, it should snap into place every 180 degrees. You'll hear the clicking sound. If it sounds like this, you've done everything correctly. Finally, press the holder in. Now the starter is ready and we can set up a marble run with it. Here you can see the starter in action featuring my other 3D printed parts. 